getting dark. But it's like 12 of these little babies on the ground now. A beautiful set of cows, guys. I bought their sisters for several different years now, and they've got really good cows. Great disposition. You have to run late. Uh, this place got two inch of rain today. And two inch of rain in this part of South Texas. It's, it's, it's a huge lifeline down here. They don't need to get a lot of rain, but they do need some rain. This country will turn green overnight. Again, I've had a great history with this ranch. I bought these from. I've been in the. I've been imported these girls from Mexico, and I've been doing it for several years off the same ranch. Um, good people. The people them been breeding Hudgens V and X for since the 40s, 50s, a long time. Straight group of three-year-olds. I promise you, you'll wear out your transmission trying to find this even, this 51 hedges, cookie cutters, high maternal cattle, all grass raised cattle. So they only come to my feed right now because they don't know what feed is. <laughs> Back home, they, they feed them some like green chops, basically. They cut us, like cut the corn off and like essentially what's a green chop? What is they cut the corn out of the that's what they kind of call them up with. It's like a green chop, so but it's it's about all they get. The rest of it's grass. Uh, two years ago, I sent these cattle to Angleton and Mr. Jack Gray and his son Benny on that group of cattle. I'll I'll post a video of how the general these and Jack is who Jack's mid eighties. He can call them up and they're really easy to handle. And the cast are gentle. A really good set of cattle, guys. See the lovely babies out there. Oh, she's had one. Lovely. Nice. Ooh. Front pasture cattle for sure. Have a blessed day, everyone. Adios.